So today I want to talk about graphing a line given its equation in standard form. So in standard form, the equation of a line looks something like this, ax plus by equals c. So for example, 2x plus 3y equals 6. So there's many ways to graph a line if, you, if you're given the equation in this form. Um, but they all require you to do something to it. So one good way to do it is just to change this form into our good old slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So mx plus b makes it really easy to graph the line. So if we just change the way that it's written into y equals mx plus b, that's one good way of graphing a line in this form. So let's go ahead and try that on this one. So I noticed that in y equals mx plus b, y is all by itself. So I want to try to get y all by itself here. So I'm going to start by subtracting 2x from both sides. And over here on the left hand side, I've got 2x minus 2x, which is 0. That's good. That was what I was hoping for. So here, then we just have 3y. And then over here, we've got negative 2x plus 6. Those are not like terms, so they can't be combined. All we can do is just write them right next to each other. But you'll notice that this is actually starting to look a lot more like y equals mx plus b. The only thing is we need to get y really by itself, which means we need to get rid of 3. So in this case, 3 is multiplied by y, so we need to divide by 3 to get rid of it. So I'm going to take both sides and divide everything by 3. So 3 over 3 is 1, which means we can just write y. That's what we were hoping for, so that's good. And then over here, we have negative 2 divided by 3. So that's negative 2 thirds. It's going to turn into a fraction, because remember that fractions are really just division. So negative 2 over 3 x, don't forget the x, the x is still there, plus, and then 6 divided by 3, which is just 2, so plus 2. So now we have the, the equation in the form y equals mx plus b, so we can just use the slope and the y-intercept to graph it. So let's go ahead and start using the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is um, 2, b equals 2, so we're going to start at the point 0 comma 2 so we plot the point 0 comma 2 and that's definitely on the line and then we're going to go back to our slope which is negative 2 thirds and so we'll take this point and then we'll go down 2 and over to the right 3 we can do it again down 2 and over to the right 3 we can do it even one more time if we want to, down 2 and over to the right 3. And this is our line. So now I can use my ruler tool and graph this line. Okay. So then remember that all the points on this line, even when it goes on forever in both directions, those are all um, points that satisfy y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 2, which is the same equation as 2x plus 3y equals 6. It's just in a different form. So this represents the same line, just using a different form of the equation that's easier to graph.